Hey what's up welcome everybody uh, in this series of videos we'll learn how we can build mobile app on Vue.js using a tool called Wix if you search for Wix uh, Vue.js you'll get to uh, get to this website and we'll go step by step uh, and learn how we can use this tool to build our mobile application so in fact this uh, tool allows us to uh, write code once and we can use that code to build our web application mobile application let's uh, get started with this so in this uh, guide um, it explains what this wix is and so the thing that i like about this uh, tool is uh, uh, write once and run everywhere like uh, we can write code on once and it will uh, build for android ios and web from single code base so that's what interests me so there is an online playground if you want to get taste of what uh, this is. So the cool thing about this is we can write this on single file component and it will run on mobile. So here we are at uh, this Wix playground and let's copy this code and let's try to see. So it is already example. Yeah, so this is uh, the familiar code template, single file template and here uh, these tags are slightly different but web thematics and run yeah you should see this so on our mobile on mobile phone we can use wix playground app we can download it from play store and then scan this code and it will run like this on our mobile application mobile phone as well so this is a uh, basic idea behind this tool. We write our single file template and then run it on our mo mobile phone. So in order to uh, run that in our local environment, uh, we need to set this tool up on our local. So we'll learn how to do that next. Okay, now let's set up this development environment uh, locally. For that we need Node.js so chances are that are already installed in your local machine or otherwise just search for install Node.js and install that on Windows or iOS. So after our uh, node is installed um, we need to install this Wix toolkit globally. So npm install wix toolkit globally okay in my case uh, it installed but it gave this error couldn't load uh, visual history uh, visual c++ components okay once uh, wix toolkit is in installed we have uh, access to this wix command you can confirm that and it will ask for it will ask some question yes use npm okay so once that is done let's create uh, one application using wix so first cd into so i'll cd into uh, my folder js projects and in this folder I, I want to create so wix create i'll call it wix view okay so it asks us for project name it is okay project for tube okay uh, let's go with latest features so go with stage zero use view router to manage yes use eslint no no uh, should we run npm install? Yes. Okay, once that uh, is done installing all packages, we cd into uh, that project and then run npm start. And after running npm start, it will build all uh, the components and start the web server on our browser. Okay, so our application is at this location okay so this is the preview page and if we go to this location 
we can see our Vue.js application inside Wix. Now let's use Vue.js to build your Wix app. So from here you can build uh, like normally normal Vue.js project. Uh, let's open this up in Sublime. Sorry, let's open it up on code. There we go. Let's move that to another desktop. Okay, so this is our folder structure. So we have these node modules, normal, platform, plugins, source. So we'll be uh, building, we'll be writing all code inside this source folder and after we run a build, then it will uh, compile everything down and build the app for required uh, the necessary platform platform that we want mm, so this is the entry.js so we are requiring router index and then we are initial uh, initializing new view application and yes so the home page is loading this hello world component and here let's let's save it it should auto compile let's go so first app on Wix so uh, in this location you can get exactly like this Wix playground so if you want to run this exact same thing on your mobile just scan this QR code and run that on mobile so if you want to build this for Android what you can do is uh, just Wix platform add Android so let's add Android platform okay once Wix Android platform has been added uh, you can then run Wix run Android to build an Android application. So it says you need to install Android Studio and run and run the below command to run app on simulator or device. Okay, first you need to install these. Otherwise, you don't have this access to Android uh, command. You can try that out here. Wix run Android. okay it says android home environment variable not found so first we need to install android studio and then add this variable to environment so that it will start the application in android emulator so you can install android studio by visiting this link okay you can download this i have downloaded already downloaded and then running installer Okay, complete it. Next, uh, start Android Studio. Okay, once uh, you do finish, it will install available all required components. So it, it might take some time depending upon your internet speed. So if you, if you get stuck on installing, there is very good guide in this Android Studio. You can go to user guide and then install Android Studio. So you can watch this uh, short clip for Mac, for Linux. Okay, after you install Android Studio, you need to do a couple of things. To set that environment variable, uh, you need to go to, so in Windows, you can just do environment, type environment variables from start menu and go to environment variable and define it here so similarly uh, you can search for Mac and Linux uh, how to define that so I've already defined this Android home variable just hit new and then type in Android home and then value will be uh, the path to Android SDK so after you install Android Studio, yeah, you have Android SDK inside. So this location. So see users, username, app data, local, 
also you can verify from Android Studio so inside Android Studio if you go to settings and inside uh, in here Android SDK uh, get the Android SDK location here so just copy this and and you can paste it here and Android home okay so as you see I have already defined it Android home and then location so after this environment variable is defined you need to define a, a path so if you hit path so you can define path here or here so this is for all users this is for just particular user so inside path you need to define like so these two so just type in android home the variable that you just defined and then uh, direct that to platform tools and platforms these two variable these two path need to be defined okay so after uh, that is done uh, you need to define another uh, path variable environment variable that is java home so if this is not already defined you can define it so make sure you have java installed in your system so in my case this is inside c program files java and java 1.8 so make sure you install java 8 not latest one 10 it throws some error so you can search for java jdk and then you can so don't install this this will support fully later so in my case uh, this one worked this java 8u so i downloaded this and i have 64 bit windows system so i downloaded this one so make sure you accept and then download so once that is download go through download steps installer and then once that is done you'll have that inside program files java and this one so you need to define this as a java home so just copy it and same thing go to environment variable just paste it here hit on new and then define the name java home and then paste in that value so I've already done that Java home and that points to it okay so uh, once that is done uh, you don't need to define path in this case yeah you can define Java home slash bin as path so that it will run all Java related commands okay so these are uh, the steps you need to do after you install Android Studio so once you define everything uh, hit OK and and then make sure you restart your windows or any uh, your system so after restarting you can uh, go to your terminal and then run wix run android so once you run this it will download couple of uh, things sdks and all other also you need to connect your mobile device via usb to your system so uh, make sure you connect and make sure you have installed wix playground app so go to play store and then install wix playground app so once uh, these steps are done uh, you can run wix run android so i've run that it will go through it it will it will install stk build 2 yeah it will just start your app on your mobile so you can see that on your mobile phone so to see on web you can do npm start to see on your android you can run Wix run Android so those two command so this is how it looks at the moment so whenever you run npm start it will also display this on uh, like this so this is how it looks on your mobile so if you don't want to connect to your mobile it's okay this is how it will look if you like the video please like and give some feedback on comment section and please subscribe more videos coming on this series so I'll see you in the next video bye